Hello there. <laughs> Yo, the, the new uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi series got announced and I, I'm super excited. But you know what else I'm excited for? Nike was kind enough to send over some items. So yes, Nike is sponsoring this video and they were kind enough to send me all of my top picks, items I was going to pick up anyways, whether they sponsored this video or not. So welcome back to my channel and let me show you all my Nike pickups and how I styled them. So these first two items are Nike's most desired sportswear items and that is Nike Tech Fleece. Tech Fleece is basically an upgraded version of your classic joggers, sweats, hoodies, crew necks and all that. So I have the joggers and I'm currently rocking the crew necks. And man, these are super warm and comfortable, but the styling aspects of these items are elevated tenfold compared to your normal sweats and hoodies. The crew neck I currently have on is in the light bone colorway. So it's kind of cream, kind of white. It's more eggshell, I would say. And it has subtle branding that's not too wild with the signature tech fleece sleeve pockets. This is a size large, by the way. I wanted to be cozy. And you could just tell that this is way more sporty than a normal crew neck. So it's easier to wear and more athletic situations you could work out in these or you could just incorporate it with your normal fits and that's what makes tech fleece so awesome the versatility is unmatched so like the joggers they are by far the best sweats that you can get in my opinion I have this black one of course in a medium and the signature cut of these is more relaxed fitting in the thighs but tapers nicely towards the ankle area. Giving this a unique cut instead of that super tight fitting stuff you normally see in regular athleisure. And it could be rocked with pretty much any aesthetic because of how it's cut. I know Air Force Ones and super tapered pants don't really look too weird. The proportions are kind of off. I've said that plenty of times, but because the thigh area is more relaxed fitting, I think it works. It balances the chunkiness of those kicks, but they always look great in runners, of course. It also has your normal pockets with an additional zipper side pocket that can hold a ton of items. I like the subtle stitching around the thigh area which makes it stand out a little bit more and it's so easy to rock. I wore these two items together making for the ultimate clean athleisure look that I could go to the city in and still look pretty good. Definitely recommended. Ladies, if you pick this up for your mans, he's gonna appreciate that. Next up we have the Nike Blazers. This is a classic sneaker from all the way back when in the 70s that really hasn't changed too much of its look compared to the OG model. And it's a sneaker that not many people recommend as most people would probably say Air Force Ones first. But hot take here, hot take. I think these are better than Air Force Ones. Mainly because Air Force Ones, they're chunkier. So it is harder to rock. If you're a shorter dude, you're gonna have to compensate a little bit. But these blazers, they're slim fitting. Think of them like Jordan Ones, just way more slimmer and plenty of colorways. Like this blue swoosh right here, it's a nice subtle touch that I really appreciate. And like I said, they have a ton of colorways, so there's definitely gonna be an option for you. The best part about these sneakers is how it just leans into the vintage classic design with the exposed foam and the generic fonts in the back. It's dope. If you don't have one of these, I do think you are missing out because it's a great switch up from your classic Jordan 1s and your Air Force 1s. And they have become a new favorite that I plan on picking up more of. I styled these in a cozy street fit with cargo pants, a fleece jacket, and a beanie. I feel like if you really lean into the street side of fashion, these are going to complement that look like peanut butter and jelly. The next item I picked up was this Nike ACG crew neck. This is in a maroon colorway with orange neon highlights and uh, ink design right here. It's pretty nice. And this thing happens to be waterproof. I did not even know that when I picked this up. But yes, it is weather resistant, so you can take this out outdoors. It's mainly your shell jackets that are waterproof, but a crew neck? Yo, that's a definite plus. Plus this orange neon right here is a nice visual flair to your outfits. And I got this in a size large and I should have went with the size medium. I was just too excited to order. So I just went with everything large for the oversized look. This is meant to be oversized already. So it already has a relaxed cut. So I would say stay true to size with this. And I got this one specifically because of the pattern and color. I have so much clothes with plain colors, no graphics, that I thought it would be a nice way to spruce up the wardrobe. There's ink splatter on the side pockets which are lined with a DWR coating to make it water repellent as well, and a zipper pocket to keep small items in. I styled these with cargo pants, a hat, and to balance that extra oversized look, which was my fault, I put on boots to increase my height, making the crew neck not so bulky on me. Obviously, this wouldn't be an issue if I ordered the right size, but I'm gonna lean into it, okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna embrace the oversizedness. But yeah, if you guys pick this up, just treat it like a normal crew neck, and it so happens to be waterproof as well. And another item I picked up was this winterized tote bag. So if normal tote bags aren't your thing, this could be a good alternative. And it also doubles up as a pretty sleek gym bag as well. What I love about it is there's no massive swoosh on the bag like some other duffel bags may have. So it makes this quite easy to rock with a normal tech fit. There's two pockets on the outside, one under a flap, and the other one is a black one with these patent leather feeling zippers. Looks pretty dope, holds plenty of stuff, and inside there's plenty of storage and more side pockets and dividers. The best part about this item is that there's a detachable shoulder sling, so you can rock it like any other messenger or sling bag, 
or you could easily take it off and rock it like a normal tote bag. It's a great detail that's much appreciated, makes this even more versatile. And the shoulder strap does have Nike's branding, but it's cut in half and it's still black as well, so it is a lot more subtle and not too loud in your face. The whole thing is weatherproof, so it's gonna keep your gear safe. I keep all my camera gear in here for shoots, so it's gonna be weatherproof, waterproof, it's not gonna get damaged. I love this thing. And the last item I picked up was the Nike Pegasus Trail 2 with Gore-Tex. In my opinion, this is probably the only running sneaker that you'll ever need. It's full length Nike React foam makes these great for running and training or just for everyday comfort. Of course, because of the Gore-Tex, that makes these waterproof, but it's not gonna sacrifice any comfort. It feels like any normal runner. So you could easily take these hiking because of all that extra tread in the sole. And if it gets messy, you could definitely just rinse them off. And yeah, the sole is a good one and a half inch thick, plus there's subtle stitching, the pull tab's pretty nice, and these are easy to slip on. And they're stylish as well. The all black makes this easy to rock with tech fits especially. I threw these on with an all black fit and then I topped it off with a navy parka along with the tote bag that I talked about earlier. And those are my Nike pickups. Thank you Nike for sending these items over and thank you guys for real for making this happen. I couldn't have done that if you guys never watched the video so I'm super grateful and you guys mean a ton to me. I would have never thought back in 2017 when I started the channel in depth that I'd be, you know, sponsored by Nike. It was pretty, pretty, uh, pretty good feeling. So appreciate it guys. And there are links to all the items that I mentioned in the description down below. Those are affiliate links. I just want to be transparent with you guys. So if you guys do make a purchase, I do make a small commission, which does go back to supporting the channel. And there's no extra cost to you guys. It's going to cost the same. So if you guys want to pick anything up, check the links in the description. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram at flowerjohnnytai and subscribe. Thank you guys.